Hello, my name is Joe Robinson. I'm a 31 year resident. Um, there are a couple of issues on uh, my block that I'd like to have addressed. I've been to meetings before and I've addressed them before. Uh, you were a trustee at that time. Um, there are, and I heard you talk about a lot of the stuff that's, that's, uh, that's going to go on and, but you know, and some of those uh, would address some of the issues that I have on my block, which is, I, and, and the main thing I want to address is there's a vacant house that's been vacant for, I don't know, maybe six years next door to me. And we had somebody trying to squat there. My wife called. Somebody did come out and board it up. But I don't know what's going on with the bank or whoever owns it, but they're not doing anything with the property. And it looks, I mean, the backyard looks like a forest reserve. And the front is not being taken care of. I've been cutting the grass. My neighbor's been cutting the grass just to try to look at, make it look presentable because it makes our houses look bad. Um, if you guys can get somebody over there or talk to whoever, find out whoever owns this property and make, you know, just kind of, if you, if you have to um, find them or whatever to make them start keeping this property up or, you know, get it back up for sale or whatever, or whoever owns it, because it, it's just, it's getting worse and worse because animals are going back there. I got people going back there and, you know, I got a family to take care of. So, it's, you know, I got people walking through my driveway going, you know, over the gate to go into that yard. So, you know, something's going to happen. And hopefully, you know, that you can get somebody over there. And then there there are some lights that need to be put on that block because they is very few lights on that block. And there's one that just goes out all the time. I'm on I'm on 106 in Parkside. And uh, property that I'm talking about, the vacant property, is uh, 14649 Parkside. Also, I'm, one, one more thing, there's a, there's a tree in front of that house that's basically dead, it's, it's dying. And every time I come out my driveway, there's dead branches, you know, either in the yard or in my driveway. Mr. Robbins, what's that address again one more time, please? 14649. Good evening, everybody. I want to piggyback off this gentleman. Um, I'm having the same problem as he's having. I live next to an abandoned house, and this has been going on for the last 10 years. I've been calling, complaining, emailing pictures. Nothing. My kids can't come out of play. It looks like a forest reserve. I don't know what's living in this man's yard back there. Snakes, possums, whatever. He has a total vehicle sitting in his yard. I can't enjoy or have family over, have barbecues because we have to look at this eyesore. And I think it's unfair as me as a tax paying, I pay my property taxes every year to have to deal with this. And when I call, nothing's been done. Like I said, it's been going on for the past 10 years years i can't enjoy my property because we have to look at this this uh prairie next door like i say when the, right now it's fine but when the summer hits trees weeds it's as tall as my house almost and like i said this this is this is an ongoing issue and, and it's ridiculous like i said I, I can't enjoy my yard or you know have my kids come out and play because of this i mean it's you know i had to get a cat because of the, the, the rodent problem, and I don't even like cats, but I had to get one because of the rodent problem coming from this area to kind of control everything. And that's unfair to me, my kids, the block, or anything. So thank you. Hey, <laughs> the cat. your name and the address and location? I got it. <laughs> Mr. 
Uh, good evening, uh, Madam. My name is uh, Michael Thomas. I have basically the same problem. Uh, 15212 Deakman Court. There's been a the house has been vacant for for years, and uh, the doors need to be secured. I'm able to walk in and look around, and it looks like um, supporters have been there. You know, so I've been keeping the grass cut. You know, uh, during the summer, but you know it's ridiculous. They can't even secure the place. I mean, both doors, you can just walk in. You know, also at one fifty one fifty three, there's uh, an individual that lives there, and he, he's running like a, a towing service. He's got flatbed trucks, um, cars old cars that he's towing, he's uh, using his driveway in order to take parts off the cars. And then he'll put them back on the flatbed and take them somewhere. And it's another individual at 110 Deacon Court. Same thing, has flatbed tow trucks, you know, on the, on the street. And I'm sure, you know, that that's, should be against the law, I'm thinking, you know, but like I say, they're running two businesses out of two different homes. That's all I have to say. Anybody else? Anybody else? Is there any more public comment? Okay. I have to thank you for what happened. Uh, Parking lot, the expo parking lot, all the rubbish and all the stuff that cleaned up. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Oh, yeah, you can go to the